Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's been a while since I've been here, so I wanted to come out, ride Expedition Everest, see if there's anything new for 2023, and also I got dining reservations at Rainforest Cafe, and I feel like I don't eat there that much, and I want to give it a fair shot and try some of the menu a little bit. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's been super cold here in Florida for the past couple of nights, getting as low as the 30s, and I thought it would be fun to get all bundled up in our sweatshirts and pants and have a chilly Animal Kingdom night. It's not often you get those, so you gotta enjoy them when you can. It's been a while since I've been out to Animal Kingdom. The last time I was here, I was with my mom and sister and I didn't make a video that day. We kind of just hung out and relaxed and rode rides together. So it's gonna be fun. And I've really been wanting to ride Expedition Everest. I love that ride so much. And also Rainforest Cafe. I think the last time I was here, I only got like a burger or something. So I wanna try something different, a little fancier, you know? If you guys don't know what the Rainforest Cafe is, it's a really nicely themed rainforest restaurant on the outside of Disney's Animal Kingdom. They also have one at Disney Springs and all across the country they have these and they're really awesome. They have animal animatronics in there and it gets really rowdy and fun and I can't wait to actually try it out. We're gonna go in the park first, maybe ride some rides and then come back out and it's a wild place to shop and eat. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. I had a nice cozy day at home with Gracie. I gave her her presents in the morning and it was real fun. She opened them up and she got to play with her new toys, had some Christmas cookies, had a nice little dinner, a nice cozy day. I got to talk to my mom and sister, we FaceTimed, and I think next year I'm gonna go home for the holidays. I kinda wish I did this year, but moving you know, and everything like that, I feel like I just didn't time it right. So I had a great time, but I hope everyone else enjoyed their holidays and there she is the tree of life look at the merry menagerie doing its thing right now i love this this is the best thing for the holiday season at animal kingdom oh, look at <laughs> that is so cool there's not a lot of offerings for the holiday season but this right here it's the best <laughs> They really don't have a lot for the holiday season here at Animal Kingdom other than the decorations, a couple of treats, but the Merry Menagerie is so fun. It's like little puppeteers all around Discovery Island and it is so cute. I love it. Seriously, they are just all so adorable. Look at these bears right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, hello friend. <laughs> I don't know why every animal reminds me of my dog. But <laughs> they do though. I'm like, oh, it looks like my dog. Oh, look at this. That is awesome. I love how the bears just come right up to you. And I love how they get so close to like the camera. Or if you're there, they get like really close to your face. And it's kind of, it's just so nice. So now I think we're going to go check the wait times. I want to make my way to Expedition Everest. I know that's probably a long wait time. I mean, the holiday season, it's always busy here. But me being a single rider, I get to kind of avoid the waits. And especially on Expedition Everest, I probably won't wait at all. Here is a look at the wait times. 20 minutes for It's Tough to Be a Bug, Cali River Rapids. Oh no, Expedition Everest is temporarily closed. Oh no, that is a heartbreak right there. And Flight of Passage is 180 minutes, 115 minutes. What do I do now? I've done goofed. It's kind of comical that I started off this video by saying how much I wanted to ride Expedition Everest and then I opened up the wait times and I'm like, it's closed, but I'm sure it might reopen. So I'm going to head over there anyway because I feel like I'm going to walk over there and then it's going to magically reopen and then I'm just going to be able to walk right on and ride. Well, I was trying to stay positive and hopeful, but it's not looking too good. I haven't seen a train go by in a while, and I don't hear any of the fake screams. So I think we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to monitor the situation on the app and maybe just go head on over to the Rainforest Cafe and check in for our reservation. <laughs> I tend to like to ride the roller coasters before you sit down and have dinner, but I don't think it's looking good today. So uh, we might have to come back and it's okay because I can ride afterwards if it opens back up. If not, we might park hop though because the rest of the park is super busy and Avatar Flight of Passage is like almost a three hour wait. 
I was not expecting to see Kevin on today's journey, but I'm happy I did. There she is. Look at this. I love seeing her just walk around. I'm working on my bird watching bag, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get my bird ID Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kevin's gotten vocal. I want to speak to Kevin. Are you holding lessons? Can you teach me how to speak Kevin? Let's not touch an animal we don't know for. I don't remember Kevin talking like that or making noise. And it was so funny because you might have heard one of the wilderness explorers say, do you speak Kevin? And it was really fun because she was reminding me of like a raptor, the way she was like, ah, ah. I, I, that's a, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of people don't know this, but there are two exits and two entrances to the Rainforest Cafe. So you don't have to leave the park and you don't even need to be coming to Animal Kingdom to dine here. You don't need a park ticket to actually come to eat here if you want. You can just get a reservation. No park entry required. Rainforest Cafe is a part of Landry's and that's also the same company that runs the Yak and Yeti here, T-Rex Lounge and the Rainforest Cafe and a, a bunch of other ones. I think they even do a couple of steakhouses too. Landry's is a huge restaurant company. It's third party. So that's why I said you can see these all around the country, mostly in like heavy touristy city. Uh, but I've only ever eaten at them here at uh, Disney World. So that's the only place I know where they're from. Here is a look at the menu and they have a lot of cool like menu items and they're all like rainforest themed or animal themed. So like they have anaconda pasta or rasta pasta. Then they've got like a rib steak and shrimp trio. That actually sounds good. I do love me coconut shrimp. They got moho bones, a primal steak, ancient grain bowl, a lot of cool things. And it's fairly priced, like it's not Disney price. Like this rib steak and shrimp trio for $38.99, that probably costs like I would say $80 at like a, a Disney resort or like a Disney restaurant. So it's not too bad. And the last time I was here, I think I just had like a rainforest burger. And look at that, it's $19.99. But I really think the main thing you're coming here for is the theming. It is really cool to actually eat inside of a Rainforest Cafe. And the same thing with the T-Rex Cafe or the T-Rex Lounge. It's just so fun seeing the animatronics and every, I think, half an hour it does like a fancy like effect. And I know it's different in each restaurant, so we'll have to find out. I'll get all the, all the info. This is the entrance as you actually walk in from within the park. Look, they got a gigantic alligator here. A big blue elephant. Kind of want to go scope around. I wish they had this tiki bar open. I wouldn't mind hanging out here. This looks like such a fun environment. I don't know why they don't have this open. This would be so cool. I mean, I know it's super cold out right now, but I like this a lot. We got a little bridge right here. Nice little elephant. This is really fun. I guess it really is a wild place to shop and eat because the gift shop is really fun. And if you walk in this side, like Animal Kingdom side, you get to see this first and it's so pretty. Isn't this so cool? Look at, you have all the different animals hanging. Oh, look at the gigantic anaconda here with a Santa hat on. Kind of reminds me of the Jungle Cruise. Oh, that's me. I'm coming in. I just got called. How fancy is that? And then also, oh look, they have like a little talking tree over here. They live on different types of animals. Tracy tree. But also collect fruit, honey. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a little snails, scary. Termites and cats. Hello, I'm Tracy Tree. Here are some fun facts. Do these foods sound familiar? Pineapple, bananas, grapefruit? Avocados and coconuts all originally came from the tropical rainforests. Shickle, which is used to make chewing gum, as well as bamboo and balsa wood, all originally came from rainforests. <coughs> Frightening. 
because I'm a Landry's card holder, I get priority seating, which honestly, if you guys aren't a Landry's card holder, I highly suggest you join up because it is worth it. Like I said, you get priority seating. I think you get $25 for every $250 you spend. And then also, when you do join up, I think it costs $25 to join up. I think they give you a $20 like reward immediately. So it's like you're paying $5 for the card and it comes in handy. Our table is ready, so I'm gonna take you guys back and show you guys a little bit of the restaurant. It's really cool when you walk in and you see all these big like aquarium like tunnels here with all the fish. And then this is the restaurant itself. It's so fun, it's so like lit. It's gonna be a little bit dark in here, so I'm gonna try my best, but these are all animatronics right here. They actually come alive, like I think it's like every like 15 or 30 minutes. And I like how they kind of add like Santa Claus hats on all of them. And actually our table is like in the perfect spot. So I'm so excited to show you guys. It's really cool in here. We are in the far back of the restaurant and we're right next to the tigers. We're right next to the whole entire group of tigers. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? Look at all these tigers. This one actually looks like Scar. This one actually has a very like intimidating looking face. Look at that. Holy moly. And this one kind of looks nice. Kind of friendly. And he's got like a little Santa beard too along with the Santa hat. I love animatronics and this restaurant is like really cool and well themed. I just feel like a lot of people don't like the food as much or they it's not like a Disney like restaurant so they don't tend to come here a lot. But I mean as far as like coming inside the restaurant itself, I love it. It gets me excited every single time. Now I want to try something different than just the traditional like burger or I think I had like the pasta before. I, like I said, I really didn't try any of their specials. So we're gonna go all in. On top of the menu I showed you outside, they have another journey through the jungle. And this actually looks really good because they have like the bacon wrapped meatloaf. This is almost the identical meatloaf to the one that's at T-Rex Lounge. I think they call it like a meteor meatloaf. And then they also have a shrimp sampler platter. This comes with a whole bunch of different shrimp, so I think I might do that. I, I like shrimp. Might do a little shrimp. And then, oh, it's actually a bourbon ribs and shrimp combo. And uh, it looks like it's $35.99. Oh my lord, the tigers are getting vocal over here. <laughs> oh, ooh. tell me about it. <laughs> this is so cool. This is literally right at my table right here. This one looks so strange and scary looking though. Oh my lord, look at him. And these are like the little cubs right here. And this is the mom and the dad right there. This is fun. Oh, and we also have the Enchanted Tiki Room here. Look at that. Get a little bit of everything. There's an animatronic like tiger right behind my head right here. Look at that. On top of the shrimp sample, I decided to get the soup of the day and it's a jungle safari soup and it's like a spicy minestrone and it looks really good. Look at this. It's got some beans in there, some noodles, and it comes with this amazing focaccia bread, which is so good. And I'm kind of happy. I'm, I'm excited to try it. Nice, cold day. Get some hot soup. Here we go. No soup for you. Good soup. Ooh, a little spicy too. Look at that. That is good looking soup right there. And it does have a little spiciness to it. Uh-oh, it's the shrimp in business. Come on in. We got the ribs right there. Oh, they weren't kidding. Thank you. This looks amazing. Holy moly, this is a big meal. Like, I am shocked. Well, actually, if you count up the shrimp, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, just about 12 shrimp. And then you got the ribs on top of it, along with the safari fries. It's a lot. Actually, it is a lot. It's a lot of food. I told the, the waitress that I wanted to get like the trio, but I wasn't really looking for steak. I really wanted to try more shrimp. So she said, get the, the shrimp and rib sampler. And I was like, oh, okay. And look at this. This is a lot of food. Holy moly. I am so shocked by this. Wow. Looks like the storm is happening. All the animals are getting riled up because of the lightning. 
Just like Gracie would too. Oh, I like how we're under our starry night too. That's very pretty. <laughs> this is so fun. I really do love it in here. The atmosphere, you just can't beat it. Oh my Lord. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into this. We've already had the soup. The soup is good. It's a little bit spicy, but it's it's not too spicy. And you guys already know I love the focaccia bread. Now I think we're gonna jump right into some of these ribs here. Look, I'm gonna grab a little rib right here. Look at that. These ribs look fantastic. I also like how they have the broiler marks, the char marks in them. Look at that. Very, very good. And let's uh, dive in. That's a good rib. Looks like they give you just about uh, four bones there and it's actually pretty meaty ribs. I like these a lot, they're actually really good. I would even say they're better than Flame Tree Barbecue. I mean, I know a lot of people like Flame Tree Barbecue. I like it too, but these are actually very, very good. Shockingly better than I thought they were gonna be. Now we're gonna dive into the shrimp in business. And we're gonna start off with the coconut shrimp because that's my favorite. Look at this, some nice coconut shrimp. Mmm. Coconut shrimp is good. Now I want to try this little barbecue or bourbon shrimp, I think they are. And these are just the regular shrimp. So they give you four different types of shrimp. You got coconut, fried shrimp, shrimp scampi, bourbon shrimp. I feel like I'm Bubba Gump. <laughs> the shrimp in business. Shrimp, shrimp bayou, shrimp and scampi. Shrimp stew, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp pasta. All different types of shrimp. Now the bourbon shrimp. I like that a lot too. Overall, I really feel like this is some good food. Especially for the price because I bet you all of this food combined, all of this right here on my table is probably less than one meal at like a Disney resort. I bet you with my discount it's going to be under $50 for all of this. And this is a lot of food. Now we got to try this scampi here. A little shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp on the scampi. It's dripping a little bit. Yeah. Out of all of it, out of all the shrimp, I think coconut shrimp's my favorite, then the bourbon, then the shrimp scampi, then the regular shrimp. Everything else is just okay. Oh, looks like someone's got a birthday coming too. Oh, very fancy. Well, that was a surprisingly amazing dinner we just had there. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with the size or the amount of food that you get for the money that you spend here. And when I say that, I'm talking like inside like theme parks, inside Disney World. So my total bill with my drink, my soup, and my entree came to $46. $46 goes a long way here in Disney because sometimes you go into restaurants, some of the entrees that I end up buying are like $60, $70, and it gets like super expensive. Any character dining is $60, and that's like, I mean, all you can eat, but like, it's just very expensive. So to get that amount, like to get that much food and in a themed restaurant, I think it was really good. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot here. The food kind of does remind me of like a chain restaurant. You know what I mean? Kind of reminds me of like a TGI Friday's because it is, it's a franchise. And Landry's is well known, it's good food. And I think they have like over 600 locations of all different concepts. So it's kind of like that, but it's still very, very delicious. And in the Animal Kingdom, they don't have many sit down restaurants. So I enjoyed it a lot here. I thought it was really good. And now we're gonna check to see if Expedition Everest ever opened back up. It looks like it did not open back up, but take a look at how busy Flight of Passage is. 215 minutes at 626. The park's only open for another hour and a half, and it's a 215 minute standby wait. That is crazy. Another cool thing I like to point out about the Rainforest Cafe is their awesome bar and mainly because they have these cool bar stools. Look at this. It's all like animals. You got zebras, giraffes, and then this one is so cool looking. And then tigers. So it looks like you're just sitting like that, but half of you is an animal. 
kind of like a wuzzle. Since it did not get better, Expedition Everest didn't reopen and the wait time's still pretty high, I think we're gonna bounce. I think we're gonna head on over to Epcot because I've been really wanting to do the American Adventure. Watch me get over there, the American Adventure is closed too. I mean, I did know that it just recently reopened and they redid all the animatronics in there and it kind of got me thinking while I was sitting there eating. And here we are, Epcot. And look, you can actually see like the little ornament, the Christmas ornament on Spaceship Earth right now. You see the top of it? That's really pretty, I just noticed that. That's when they do the special holiday version of the uh, Beacons of Magic. I actually came to Epcot on Christmas Eve and I spent the whole entire night, I spent my whole entire Christmas Eve with a family that I have never met before but I've known for a very long time. And this family is from the UK and they were over here vacationing and they've been watching my videos for years and we've kind of gotten to know each other through the comment section. And I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to Dino, Jenny, and Finley for allowing me to be a part of your family for Christmas Eve. It was really awesome. We had dinner and we watched the candlelight processional and uh, I got to spend it not alone. I spent it with what I would like to call family now. So you guys are amazing. And I have been talking to them for years. I usually try to write back comments whenever I post a video, like in the first half an hour. And Dino, Jenny, they've always in there. Like the first 30 minutes, like the first like five minutes actually that I post a video, they're always there ready to comment. And we talk about movies and stuff like that. And getting to know them was such an awesome thing. And friends for a while. And that's, that's really awesome. So I wanted to say thank you to them. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get done here tonight I'm gonna try my best to make it over to America so that I can watch the last showing of the American Adventure I've got 20 minutes 20 minutes to get over there I think we can make it happen looks like we made it with just one minute to spare oh boy better hurry up before they shut the doors on us well I guess being one minute early isn't enough it's actually four minutes late because it says 7 30 but i think they start loading at like 7 25 and then they close it off exactly at 7 30 so we literally missed it by seconds but at least i tried so i mean it's not going anywhere it's been here for a long time and uh i'll have to come back and watch it another night since we can't watch the American Adventure, I made my way down to Germany to the Holiday Kitchen because I wouldn't mind getting myself a Linzer cookie. This is one of my favorite things from the festival. And since the festival is ending soon, might as well enjoy it while we can. I feel like today is just kind of like a big oops, you know? We couldn't do Expedition Everest, and I kind of called it on the American Adventure. I was like, watch me get there, and <laughs> we're not able to see it. But like I said, it's not going anywhere. We could definitely come do it again, and we're in Epcot. I mean, who could be upset about that? And now I just got a Linzer cookie. Hands down the best cookie at the Festival of the Holidays this year. I'm so excited to dive in, but I don't want to get powdered sugar all over my hoodie. I'm actually going to have to eat this in the like most unflattering way where I don't get the powdered sugar all over myself. So I'm just going to like kind of bite it and lean in. Mm. That's a good cookie. Put that cookie down! Honestly, it really is good. It's my mom's favorite cookie too. Fun fact. Now that I've gotten myself a Linzer cookie, I do want to ride a ride. And since everything has a long wait, I thought about doing single rider at test track, but that is actually a long line. So I think maybe we'll just make our way out to Spaceship Earth. You know, you can't go wrong with uh, Spaceship Earth. And it, I mean, it's actually one of my favorite rides at Epcot. And I'm not just saying that because it's the only ride that probably doesn't have an hour wait. I do actually enjoy Spaceship Earth a lot. And look at how beautiful it is right now. And look at this, it says 20 minutes, but it looks like we're just walking in. I don't film much on this ride because it's so dark, but I just like zooming in on the animatronics. That's honestly the only reason that I kind of want to ride it. I was in the mood for animatronics since the American Adventure, so this is kind of like the second best thing.
There she is, Foxy Brown. That was a nice relaxing ride on Spaceship Earth. And now, like I said, I think we're gonna make our way over to French Quarter. Get some beignets and kind of uh, check out all of the French Quarter. I haven't seen it decorated for the holiday season yet. Well, this sure has been kind of a crazy day. Couldn't get on Expedition Everest. We missed the last showing for the American Adventure. Came and rode Spaceship Earth, and now we're bouncing out and heading to the French Quarter for some Mickey beignets. I mean, it's not a bad thing. The reason I made my way over to French Quarter is because I'm meeting up with some friends who said that they'd be coming by and getting some beignets, and uh, why not? I also hear that they have champagne beignets, but that's not till New Year's Eve. But if they did have some now, I would definitely indulge in those because I want to know what champagne beignets sound like. Well, what they taste like because what they sound like is pretty fun. Champagne beignets. One of the reasons I like coming to French Quarter during the holidays is there are like super bright Christmas trees and lights. I'm a big multicolor light fan and French Quarter does it better than nobody else. Like, look at this. Did I just say that right? Better than nobody else. I love it in here. It ha doesn't have a big tree, it just has four small ones. But I like them a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be eating a lot of beignets, but I will show you guys them. I'm still a little bit full, but nobody can pass down some beignets. Take a look at these beignets right here. You got a nice three pack with extra powdered sugar, and then the peppermint one. They don't have the champagne beignets yet. I think they're only serving those on New Year's Eve, but uh, well, I figured I'd try the, the peppermint one, you know? This is two powdered sugary things I tried today. These are so hot though. They're very, very hot. Oh, it's kind of burning my hand. Uh oh, I've already ruined my shirt. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not doing good. This did not go according to plan. Look at this. I went ears first. And look at this. Look at the mess. But this is what everything is. This, all the tables are just covered. Somebody lost their sunglasses here. And these look like Roy bands. I've got a gray beard. Look at this. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> We've got a bunch of earless Mickey beignets here. And they're all missing an ear. <laughs> Except for this little guy. He's not getting any love. But holy moly, that is a lot of powdered sugar they put on these. It's like all over the place. Look at this down here. Well, enough of the beignet business. I don't even know <laughs> why I came over just to have a bite or two of beignets. But it was nice to kind of hang out for a little bit at the French Quarter. Now we're going to go home, check on Gracie, call it a night. I have a doorbell now. <laughs> What are you doing? Huh? What? Show me your toys. Come on. Show me your toys. Come on. Show me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's all your new toys? Oh, here they are. Look at you. What'd you get? Want this one? You want this? Oh. I want this one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why am I throwing them down the steps? <laughs> How about this one? Oh. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. I'm sorry the video is kind of chaotic and all over the place, but sometimes things go according to plan and sometimes they don't. And you have to kind of just go with the flow of things and make the most of it. That's kind of what I did tonight, you know? Couldn't get on Expedition Everest, couldn't get on American Adventure. Kind of all backfired, but still had a great time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.